Alright, and welcome back guys. Um, I guess this will be another tips and tricks video, but people have been asking how to import your own worlds into Minecraft. Um, and I will show you. So, you can import them from Technic, but uh, because Technic uses a couple different graphics and items, they will not usually show up. Sorry, that's my knuckles popping. They usually will not show up in, um, in MC Edit. So what I've done, um, I made a normal Minecraft world, and I made this little rock figurine thing here. So, um, to make life easier on yourself, once you've made the item you want to export, log off next to it, because when MC Edit opens up your world, it's going to start where your character logged off from. So I'm going to log off here, save and quit to tell. You want to make sure Minecraft is closed when you open up MC Edit. And I will, we'll, uh, in the description, I'll have a download area before you can get MC Edit. So open up MC Edit. Um, you're going to open a level. Um, if it doesn't already open up to... Uh, where you're going to want to be finding stuff. Um, just go to your normal app data roaming folder and if you're pulling stuff from TechIt, you're actually going to click the roaming, open up TechNet Launcher, TechIt, saves, um, open up the world, for example I had Jungle Fun, and you open up the level.dat. But I'm going to... And once you open it, it saves the path. So you've seen I've opened up the world called MC Edit that I just showed you guys already, so I don't have to keep going open level, load world, whatever. I can actually just uh, quick open it, but I will do open level, MC Edit, load that. Um, you're going to have to forgive me. I don't know all the controls of MC Edit, and you can see there's where I logged off looking. Um, if you hold your right mouse button, it lets you look around. Um, the normal WASD to move around. Uh, Q will take you up, Z will take you down, and this thing flies incredibly flas fast. And I don't know if there's a way to fly, s fly slower, but uh, it is. it does take some getting used to, and I am far from getting used to it, so you're going to have to forgive me here. So, I want to add this to my ship level. I'm actually thinking of adding some giant mountains and stuff in the background of the ship so it's not just boring sea. So as you can see wherever my mouse is, you're going to see this white box. That's your selection area. Um, that is my phone ringing, so let me silence that. So um, get close to where you are wanting to select something. Click and drag. Now, oh crap, I didn't select the whole, uh, well, I got pretty close actually, the whole figurine I wanted to uh, take over. So you can actually mouse over the side you want to edit, click, pull up, pull down. So I actually want to get the top of that in. Also looks like I missed that little point there. Pull that out. Looks good, looks good. I can actually... Oops, Z, look underwater. Um, I can mouse over that bottom thing. I can pull more of the sand if I wanted to, but I don't want to. And in doing so, it's also going to bring these water blocks. It's not just going to bring the blocks. It's anything that's in here. Even if half of a tree is in there, it's going to pull it in. Whoop. All right. So once you get that selected, you're going to go to export over here. Make sure schematic is the uh, file that is saved type as. I'm, it only shows it on mine that it's the only one. Find your Minimator folder. Open up schematics. Give it a name. I actually already tested this out, so I have it, but I'm going to name it rock.schematic. And yes, I will replace it. So now you close your MC Edit. Open up Minimator. Open up your animation. Uh, 
give it a minute to load. It's that Swedish ship I'm using that's taking forever. So we got our ship. And uh, loading schematics, if you guys remember, we go to objects, add, let's give it a name, rock, type, you're going to pick scenery, load schematics. If you saved your schematic elsewhere, you're going to want to find that, but I found it easiest just to save it in the schematics folder. Um, here we are, rocks.schematic, open. And of course, I didn't move the ship from the spawn point, so as you can see, the rock spawned in the ship, so I'm going to want to move that. So I'll give it a little keyframe down here. Open up position. I'm actually going to zoom out. Pull it out. Alright, so you can see the water came with it. Um, and it's going to look silly if I keep it like that, so I'm going to go to the Z axis, move it down go. And there's your rock. Um, rotation, so like, if it's kind of hard to do diagonals or angles in Minecraft. Um, so I could actually come in here and tilt it, but of course the water's going to be all silly like that, so you're going to want to make sure you still change your position. So now it's like a jaggedy rock that's on an angle that you wouldn't be able to normally make in Minecraft, but it's there. And so I'm thinking of for this animation I'm making here in the background, I'm going to have a big mountain um, to go. So yeah, and these schematics, as I've shown in earlier videos, can be animated so that um, so their position can move. So there you go, rocks are moving. And yeah, oops. So yeah, that's the quick version on how to uh, add uh, rocks or add your own world um, to, actually I'm just going to close this, to Minecraft. Now you'll notice, I'll open up MC Edit again. Um, the controls are a bit squirrely and I'm sure there's probably a button you can hold down to make yourself fly around a little slower. Um, so right here. This is just a quick path. I don't always have to keep reopening it. I can just do MC Edit. And here we are. Now it's just like creative mode. You can fly around. It's going to render the world. And if you'll notice, it doesn't render more than what you've actually explored. So since that world I made, um, I never explored. I just, where I spawned, I made that thing. So it's not going to render the world like you're in Minecraft. Um, and these uh, lily pads are showing up a little bit strange, but we can go down to uh, got some underground caves here. It's kind of cool. We can see all the underground cave patterns. And I'm not quite—I'm not a pro. I just downloaded MC Edit today. I've never used it before, but uh, I don't know what these red and green blocks are. But anyway, there's where I logged off. So, to save yourself time, let's go over a couple more tips. I'll just reiterate what I was saying before. Save yourself time. Log off by the building you are going to be um, going to be editing. So if you build a big building, log out in front of it. Um, I may down the road go over a tutorial on MC Edit, but I'm pretty sure you could find one on how to use it. You can move players, move spawn points. It's pretty nice. For example, I've already lost where am I? Oh, so looky here what I found. Double uh spacebar makes it go slower. So there you go. Yeah, I'm totally lost. Anyway, um I'll just do another quick thing to show you. So say I want this tree with the vines hanging down from it. So we're going to drag this. Drag that. Q to go up. Alright. And now you'll notice I'll just keep it in there. I took half, of, well, not half, some leaves from this other tree. So I'm going to go to export. I'm going to find schematics. Going to go vine tree. 
Save. Close. Open up your Minimator. And we'll just do it here. We're not going to add it to the other schematic. Uh, vine tree. Scenery. Load schematic. Wherever you've saved it, open. And there you go. And it looks like um, Mind Mator does not have vines in it, so it's actually not showing it. So there's that half that tree I brought with me. Well, not even half, so that's interesting, no vines. Um, I am going to try and figure out how to change texture packs. Uh, I think that'd be a cool thing to do. Or to add your own textures. I, I know I've watched a couple of videos where there's some textures in it um, that aren't normally there, so I'll have to figure that out and show you guys. But yeah, that's the quick tip and trick of the week. Loading your own worlds. And before adding stuff to your uh, animations and stuff, I would suggest I make a backup of all my animations and then I have my my videos here as well. Um, coming this week, I'm also going to go over a video of how to render and the different settings there. And uh, yeah, we'll see what else I can figure out to do in this program. Thanks for tuning in as always, and rate, subscribe, thumbs up, and any questions you have, just leave in the comments.